Diane Adkins here, your violin teacher, and today I want to teach you Bile Them Cabbage Down. It's a really easy fiddle tune that uh, goes together nicely with uh, the early book one of Suzuki literature. So if your student or you are learning um, the beginning of book one, you might want to just switch over and do some fiddle tunes occasionally. This one is good to start right around uh, lightly row or, you know, about that same time. So very simply, the piece has two musical lines. The first one starts C-sharp, and it uses this run-pony rhythm on every finger. And then that would repeat, that's phrase A. And then phrase E begins with E strings. Would repeat and you can go back and do the this the whole set over again and that's very often what they do in fiddling maybe with a little variation so let's hear what this thing sounds like I'll do all the repeats with it too file them cabbage down in its most basic form. And I just want to tell you a couple things, one thing in each section that is a challenge. The first thing is that if at this point you are just doing the, the first few pieces in uh, Suzuki literature, uh, say Lightly Row, Song of the Wind, what the challenge is that you're used to doing uh, the twinkles like this. <laughs> down pony, up pony kind of rhythm on every note. And in this piece, in this song, we kind of, we do that, but there's a couple sections, a couple notes where you just put one run pony on the note. So that happens, and I'll show you where, as I begin at the beginning. right there that might be a good challenge for you at this point. Uh, in phrase two, where we begin the E strings, we, we've got kind of five ponies on, five run ponies on E. Two, three, four, five pony, and now the next bowing is an up bow, and it is on A2, or C sharp. So it, it's, it's kind of tricky sometimes to get that going on the E string. Number one, counting how many E's, number two, I mean on the A string. Uh, number one, counting on E, and then number two, getting up bow on the, on the C sharp. So stay ready. And it also has a, just a one pony on it, so. The moving line. Moving line. That in itself is kind of a challenge at this point. If you're halfway through book one or something similar, then you might find that that basic melody is pretty easy. And then you'd be ready to add some ornaments or some some more fiddly kind of uh, techniques to this song. And uh, one of those techniques would be sliding in to notes. And a perfect place to do that is sliding from the C sharp go from C natural to C sharp on that second finger every once in a while, okay? So if you want to go... Okay, and um, instead of putting like the pony at the end, you can kind of jump in early and leave the pony off. I'll show you what I mean.
first part. And then in the E uh, of the B section where you have those E's in there. Really fast slide. It's really fancy, huh? that too or an ending or in more classical terms we call it a coda and this would be the tag I think they call this in fiddling so you, you can add that at the end of this one so we'll back up a little bit the repeat of B phrase you do to make this piece more interesting and fun to play. If that is too easy for you, all these moving lines with, with one run pony or sliding around, that's easy too. Why don't you add some open strings? So here, here it would be with open strings. called Bile Them Cabbage Down that's easy for beginners to learn. And it has some great technique in it too. Have fun with it. <laughs>